Good morning, folks. Hopefully you can see. It's awful cold in this garage um, at Lake of the Ozarks. It's the Bass and Bob Winter Challenge, the last one of the year. It's really cold outside. I think it's right around 20 degrees um, with about a 10 mile an hour wind. So the high is supposed to get a little above freezing. So it's Blake Hart and myself, and uh, man, we caught him last weekend. So hopefully this weekend plays out the same, just with a few big ones. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. How much is it? One. Yeah. It's gonna be close. Dude. Video is good. Is good from last weekend. It really is good. The video is really good from last weekend. I haven't put it out yet. I am pumping that thing out there. It is. It's just so many fish catches that day, dude. You had a little more weight than we had, but we had the same kind of day. I mean, it's ridiculous. Every time we set the hook to, it's like, good one, it's like, probably not. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was. What are you doing? Just just coming out. Yeah, they really bit last weekend. They're really hopefully going to bite you. Didn't today. Did I? No, you did not. No, you didn't. Oh, did not. And, and, and are you fishing yourself or with No, Blake Hart and I are fishing. Oh, okay. Did uh, Chartser come up? Yeah, oh gosh, which reminds me, Gary Scherzer wants to know his boat number. Okay. Him and Evan entered online. Marco. Who's he fishing with? Evan, Evan Scherzer. For me, down here where I like to fish. And what boat were we? I don't know what boat. I know. 45. 45. Usually we can at least get two of the four, you know, solid turns down here, and then we run up, you know, our own straight boat. There's a, fish, there's a fish right there. Yeah. Oh. Boat 29. Oh. Amateur boat racer and professional fisherman with Myron Cohen. <laughs> Corey Steckler, good luck, guys. 45. Hammer fast, all cameraed up. My, I'm sorry, David McCormick and Blake, good luck, guys. 46.
How does he feel? Down. Eat some fish. You're gonna have to swing him on up here. You barely got him. Got 10 pound line? Just swing him right up in here. Let's see if he's 15. I don't think he is. But that's how it's done right there, my friend. God, he barely had it. He don't, does he? He's long. He don't have no weight. I don't think he's a 15er. He's a quarter inch shy. Yeah, he yeah. is. It's a start. First bite of the day, short. They got some bites out on the end of the docks, too. So when we come to a dock like this, it has the bars. Yeah. See this one down here? Yeah, it's it's parallel down the end of the spot today. I don't know what I mean. Spots are getting weird lately. <laughs> nothing but black. Little one, I think. Mm -hmm. Starting to get bites. That creamed it. About pulled the rod out of my hand. I don't think it's a keeper either. Yeah, same That's what I'm thinking. But it was a long ass pause I was on. I can't change the hook with my hands in this shape. There ain't no way. Ain't no way. See that little baby seawall up there? The stacked one? Yeah. Get up close to it. We caught one there. He said it may be a couple hours before they really get to going. Yeah. I don't know. Those guys are sitting right where we wanted to fish, but. It is what it is. Well, uh, we caught them everywhere we went, so the state pies ah, didn't keep turning. Wrong pole, this pole. Yeah, I just dunk it like that. It gets it off the quickest, the least amount of effort. I'm thinking it's a good one. Nope. It's looking smaller now. You can get him in here. Just bring him right up in here. He's a keeper though. Swing him right in. Hell yes. Yeah, that was a cool bite. Hell yes it was. That is a cool bite. I'm pretty sure he's a keeper. Yeah, it was way out there off the bank like you explained before. 
Okay, this is kind of a little flatter of a spot. We're gonna go. We're gonna go find them in the wind. There's a little breeze. If we can take it, it's gonna make it. Better. Takes you a while to believe it until you actually get one out there. Oh, the that's why I kept throwing you. And it's, it's a matter 20 of belief. feet right here. Put him on the board just to make sure he looks. Kind of to make sure he looks kind of short. There he is. Mark him. Mark him with green. He yeah. barely makes it. He's the first to go. Okay. Well, we're going to get rid of him is what's going to happen. So I'm going to put him on here. We're going to put him behind your side. So, it's a big giant spotted bass. Yeah. Oh, he's a good fish. Time to retie. Huh? Time to retie. Good, healthy, beautiful specimen. Like there's no tomorrow, dude. Not slacking it. I don't know if it's a big one. Little one. I mean, slooped it. Saw the tick come through the line, one of those. That's the way I like it. We'll pause. There he is. Yeah, I got him. Ah, uh, probably a little one. Oh no, it's not. Maybe not. Feels good now. Might have to help me. Might have to help me. Oh gosh. No, never mind. Spot? No. Jeez, they pull hard. But they're just doing pirouettes down there. 
which feels like big head. Damn it. It's insane. It is insane, and they're little. Com they're little compared to last weekend. Feels like it. I can't even. Oh my god! 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 There he goes! Oh my god! Do you see this? Do you see what's happening? What's happening here? What oh my god! Hybrid! You're gonna have to help me. Get ready. I don't know what I got. It's heavy. Feels heavy. Maybe it's not. <gasps> Down where you are. Get him by the mouth. We ain't got a net, so that's really scary today. That's a good one. Lots of fiber. Waking on? Thank you. 
Ski. No. <laughs> Never good enough. Never good enough, right? Upside down. This is a really pretty spotted bass. Really pretty spotted bass. Oh, close up. I don't think so. I'm thinking he's only two and a quarter. And that's a four and three quarter pound largemouth. Oh. 